In this video, I will test this unknown insane trading strategy with very high accuracy created by Quantum Trading Strategy to find out its true win rate. For that, I will backtest it 100 times with an initial account size set at $1,000 with 1 to 1.5 1 risk reward ratio. If you're wondering what backtesting service I'm using, it's called Trader Edge and it's officially the best backtester on the internet. Thousands of new and professional traders are using Trader Edge to get an edge on their competition. You can save so much time by testing strategies with Trader Edge. All you need to do is to set up your initial account size and the profit and loss per trade. They also got some other useful features on their website such as the position size calculator, the profit and loss calendar and the indicators and strategies menu. Here you can find and download some super accurate tools for TradingView and MT4 platforms and they've all been proven to work. If you're not entirely sure how to backtest no worries you will get a full step-by-step -step backtesting plan which has $100 value. Not sure how to build a profitable trading strategy? No worries you will also get a full course on how to build a profitable mechanical trading strategy which has a $270 value. And if you sign up right now, they'll throw in four pre-made high quality strategies that have $100 value. So that's over $470 worth of bonuses all for free, but only if you sign up right now. Trader Edge has a seven day free trial, so there is absolutely no risk at all. So go ahead and check it out. I will leave a link in the description below. Okay, so I'm going to do my backtesting on Ethereum USD on a five minute time frame. And the strategy I'm going to be testing includes three indicators. So for the first indicator, let's search for RSI. For the second indicator, we will add PIB, pin bar rejection indicator. And for the last indicator, we will add a regular Ichimoku cloud. Okay, before we can start using this strategy, we will need to adjust the settings on these indicators first. So let's first double click on this Ichimoku cloud. And in the star section, let's remove everything except of these backgrounds. Also, let's make the backgrounds a bit more visible. The second step will be to double click on this PIB indicator and change the length from 21 to 14. And finally, let's adjust this RSI indicator. So we're going to change the RSI length from 14 to 25 and the moving average length from 14 to 150. Also, let's make the indicator look a bit cleaner. Okay, the strategy is complete. Now let's get into the entry rules. All right, so for a long position to be valid, we need to have the price action closed above this PIB yellow line. The Ichimoku cloud has to be colored in green and the price action has to also close above it. And the last condition will be to have this RSI blue line crossing above this yellow moving average. And once we have these rules met, we will go ahead and place a buy order at the close of our trigger candlestick. Our stop loss will be set at the recent lowest price. And in terms of take profit, the creator of the strategy was using slightly different money management. He basically had two profit targets. The first one was set at 1 to 1 times the risk and the second one at 1.25 to 1. But for simplicity purposes, I'm going to set my take profit target at 1.5 times the risk. For short positions, the rules are exactly opposite. First, the price action has to be closed below this PIB yellow line. The Ichimoku cloud has to be colored in red and the price has to close below it. And lastly, we need to have a bearish cross on the RSI where the blue line crosses the yellow line downwards. And if the rules are met, we can safely enter a short position. Our stop loss will be set at the recent highest price. And our take profit targets will be set at one and a half times the risk. Okay, let me give you some more examples so you have a better understanding of how to trade with this strategy. So here we see the price action just crossed and closed above this yellow line. The Ichimoku cloud is also green color and is below the price. But the problem is the RSI gave us a long signal way before this cross happened. So we would have simply ignored this signal. Here's another example for a long trade. So we see the price action closed above this PIB yellow line. The Ichimoku cloud agrees, but the RSI indicator hasn't caught up yet. So we see we had to give it a bit of time to catch up. And this is where we had a valid long entry. But if we place our stop loss at the recent swing low, we see that this trade didn't turn out to be successful. Also, if the price action is inside the cloud, you do not take the trade. You can only enter the trade when all the conditions are met properly. 
To be honest, I would say the strategy is not that bad, yet I still believe there is a quite a bit of room for improvement. Okay, I hope you have understood the rules for the strategy. If you want to see some more examples, you can check out the original video. Okay, now let's do our backtesting and see how well the strategy would perform in different market conditions. Alright, so I just finished the backtesting and here are the results. So the win rate for the strategy is only 52% and we increased our account size by 76.35%. By the way, I found those 100 setups within 5 weeks. So these results aren't that bad, the strategy is definitely making money. However, you have to be aware of these drawdowns. Also notice that for the first 50 trades, the strategy wasn't making any serious money. And that's due to the fact that the market wasn't really trending at that time. The profit factor is only 1.63 and we had 6 consecutive wins against 5 consecutive losses. So based on these numbers, I would probably give the strategy a score of 5 or 6 out of 10. Okay, now let's actually try to make some improvements with a goal to increase that win rate. Okay. Okay, so after hours and hours of hard work, I finally found something really good. So what I basically did, I got rid of that Ichimoku cloud and I added this heat map volume to the chart. This indicator is on default settings. And let me show you how you can find it. You basically type heat map volume and it's going to be this indicator by XDE Cal. I did not make any adjustments to this PIB line. We see the length is set at 14. Yet I did slightly change the colors for the RSI just to make it look a bit different. Obviously the inputs are the same. Okay, so let's actually understand how to trade with this strategy. Okay, so here are the entry conditions for the long trade. First of all, the price action has to close above this PIB yellow line and the candlestick is not touching the line. The next condition will be to have this RSI green line crossed above this red moving average. The cross can either happen on a candlestick that fully broke above this yellow line or it can happen earlier. And the final condition will be to have the volume bar colored in either yellow, orange or red. I usually look at the bar colors because it's easier. Okay, so all the conditions are met and this is going to be our trigger candlestick. This time we're going to set our stop loss at the yellow line and we're going to be targeting 1.5 times the risk. And the reason we want the full candlestick to be closed above the line is to avoid the range in market. We see that when the price is moving sideways, the candlesticks usually touch in the line. For a short position, the rules are exactly opposite. So first, the candlestick has to fully close below this yellow line. We see the body of the candlestick is not touching the line, nor the wick. Next condition will be to have this RSI green line positioned below this red moving average. And finally, our trigger candlestick has to be colored in either yellow, orange or red. And only when these conditions are met, we can safely enter a short position. Our stop loss will be set at the yellow line. And a take profit target will remain the same. Notice how well this volume indicator is eliminating trades when there is no volume in the market. We see these trades could have resulted in big losses. Also a very important rule to understand, if the indicators did not catch up on the first candlestick that closed above or below this yellow line, we do not wait for the next candlestick, we simply skip this trade. So for example here, the candlestick closed below the line, the volume level is good, but the RSI green line is still being above this moving average. So in this case, we would have skipped this trade. It's also not recommended to take the trade when the price action is making massive candlesticks like this because you're literally risking to get stopped out. Here's also a great example of a long trade you would have taken. Okay, I hope you have understood the rules for the strategy. So let's do our second backtesting and see if the system is any better. So, just finished the backtesting for the second strategy and we can see that the results are much better. Our win rate is 63% now and we gained 204.87% profit on our account. And I found those 100 setups within 6 weeks. Of course, the spreads and fees are not included, so you definitely want to expect that number to be lower when trading live. 
The profit factor for the strategy is looking pretty good and we had 7 wins in a row against 4 losses in a row. So yeah, I'm definitely happy with these results even though the indicators for the strategy aren't that great. By the way, if you're looking for some really good trading view indicators, check out this video right here. In this video, I shared my top 5 confirmation indicators that will make you a lot of money long term. Okay traders, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.